Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the couple of map keys what I have prepared for you. But we would like to show you then focus on the driving map key, so we need to prepare some simple 3D model. And I will create really easy shape because we would like to focus on some base dimensions. So for example, we can create like this and I can spin a little bit, delete some preferences. So for example, we don't need these lines and again, these lines. Okay, maybe this one will be better. Okay, I will create a couple of main dimensions and we can see that couple of them is possible to reuse and a couple of them I can create from scratch. So I will delete the unnecessary references and for example this dimension will be defined from here and from here and again equal will be deleted. Okay great. For now we don't need to focus on the real number, but you know that if, if you would like to specify your custom value, it's really easy to change the dimension and you will get what you need. Okay, great. And some high, and for example, I will create some hole and first reference and second reference only some information to the drawing yeah and some paste dimensions for this hole we would like to use the through hole yeah okay we can change it later from drawing for example good and we will create new drawing so i would like to create the new drawing you can use the map key create new drawing and the system will automatically create new drawing based on the name Please check the previous tutorial and you will know how to use this map key. I'd like to focus on the map key, whether define it here, yeah. So maybe I can a little bit resize the window and we can continue directly in this drawing. So general view, yeah, you can see here general view is defined as GV. So if I will use the GV from the map key or from the keyboard, the system show me the first as view as the general yeah so then you can double click use the orientation so it's up to you what you would like to use yeah if you will double click the system will always show you how it looks like or you can use the geometry references not necessary to use the map key for this one only use the default orientation or create your custom orientation and place as you need Again, for more information how to orient and create drawing view, please previous tutorials in the section drawing. Okay, so we have defined the first view. You know that it's possible to create projection view by icons or again for you, you can create your custom map key. But for now, again, I'd like to create new general view so I can reuse the GV and the system allow to me to place new general view. It's really quick. I don't need to go upstairs and looking for the general view. And you know, if you will select it, the system will ask you where you would like to place it. So it's same as the thunder icon, but with map keys much faster because you can use your hand on the from the keyboard directly. We would like to show some dimensions yeah or you would like to create some dimensions so it's not problem you can do it directly from the right mouse button or you can use the functionality as before i will show everything yeah and maybe i'd like to show the axis again okay so everything is defined here and right now we would like to arrange a little bit this icon what is good that you know that it's possible to move the dimensions and then it's possible to use for example right mouse button and clean up dimensions yeah so offset value and increment value but 
if you will do it step by step, you have to select icon, move icon, to dimension, sorry, and then again, again, and right mouse button and so on. But I like to use the map key, clean up dimension CD, yeah? And the system will automatically clean up dimension for me. If you will move it on the right side, for example, and again, this dimension, you can simply select CD and this one CD. So you can see that system align dimension really quickly. If you don't want to see the snap line, no problem, you can delete or you can leave it because in the PDF file or export the data will be not visible. Fine. So you know how to clean up dimensions. Sometimes you would like to create the breaks on the witness line. So BB, yeah, if I will use the BB, the system asks me where which witness line I'd like to break, and then the system will break this witness line for me. If you would like to remove break on the witness line, no problem. Select and RB remove breaks, yeah, RB, and the system will remove the breaks on the witness line. Additional functionalities, for example, erase view. So you know that somewhere here is erase view, but I use it often if I have a really huge assembly and I don't want to spend a lot of time for the refreshing the drawing. So I will use functionality erase view, EV, and the system asks me which view I'd like to erase. Yeah, and you can continue and the system will erase. If you would like to show, okay, I do not use the map key. You can see here that it's possible to select resume view. And again, same here, you will resume view. Based on the daily work with the drawing, you know that sometimes it's necessary to use the drawing regeneration and refresh and everything. And couple of functionality are over here in the sheet, over there is the functionality. If you use the right mouse button, it's update. Then if you will create the new dimension, sometimes you know that it's necessary to use the refresh. Yeah, because the dimension will still be in red color, for example, like this. So I'm simply use the function F5 and the system will update drawing for me and refresh all sheets. Yes, so in the one F5 functionality, it's a really similar if you are in the Chrome for me, for example, or in the Internet Explorer. So F5 is as refresh. So I am using this F5 map key as the refresh of the drawing. If you need to use the balloon, I will show you, you can use the BA yeah, and the system allow to you to place, for example, the ch change note. So the first, I will write one, enter, enter, and the system will create the balloon for me. So for example, this drawing is, our, is in the change process. So you can create your custom balloon and you can specify where you would like to play. So no problem. You can create BA and for example, you would like to sew it here and it's a third change. So enter, enter and you will see that is number three over there. It's no problem. You can delete because it's a standard balloon. Edit attachment, yeah. Sometimes you would like to create a mm, note. So you can create again from the annotate tab, you can create your note and then you need to select edit attachment. But many times you are in the layout, yeah. And uh, edit attachment is not here. So for example, I will create the bomb note BN and I am allowed to place note. Yeah, for example, one, two, three, four, five and so on. So what does it mean? You would like to place this note to another placement. So EA as the edit attachment and system allow to you to place on the different surface or entity. So edit attachment again, you can reuse. Maybe I can sh focus again for here for properties tab. So if you'd like to set some properties for this drawing, you can use the PO and the system will load active drawing and you can set up, for example, 
different size of the dimensions or you can change the shape of the arrow or it's up to you so you can have a look over here is the a lot of configuration option for this actual drawing and you can change it and will be applied only for this drawing so simply you can use the PO map key how to create new drawing with the name or how to retrieve drawing our active model was explained in the previous tutorials again and maybe I would like to focus on the one really good functionality that what has been explained before in the assembly map key but you can see here that is the functionality open install model in assembly and drawing so over here is the function OI open instance it's the only my shortcut because OI open instance yes yeah? so you can simply select from the model tree the 3d model and if you use the OI the system will directly open the drawing and you can make some changes and then go back to the drawing so for example I will create some chamfer here between these two surfaces and if I will go back here yeah maybe it is not updated because you configuration option is set up that do not update the drawing but if you select the F5 the system will refresh the drawing so today I have been focusing on the couple of map keys what is possible to download from the 4ksite.com slash download and try to use it or create your custom map key based on this logic it's up to you thank you very much and stay tuned Bye-bye. Vladimir.